Hello everybody, we're looking at this final question from the UK Intermediate Maths Challenge from the year 2000. I found the solution to this online and I found it a little bit disappointing, so I wanted to share some tricks with you about how to speed up times when you have questions that are to do with comparing as opposed to just calculating. So in this question, you can read it, but it's all about which shaded area is the greatest. So it's not actually about calculating all of the areas, it's just about comparing them. So one of the first things we can do is we can just note how little work we need to do when we compare things. So if we wanted to know which one's the biggest, you just need to run an algorithm where you compare A to B, you find out which one's bigger. Let's say it was A, then we compare A to C, then we find out which one's bigger. Let's say it was C, we don't know yet. Then we just need to compare C to D, let's say C was still bigger, and then C to E. And if C is still bigger, then we know C is the biggest. So whenever you're doing comparison questions, you actually just need to find a way of relatively, relatively comparing them, not absolutely finding their values, although you might still need to do this. In this question, we're going to do a mixture of this, and it really cuts down the time. In fact, it halves the amount of work you need to do. So let's get into this. So the first thing is we need to actually calculate the fraction of A. We need some sort of baseline to compare it. So one of the things you need to just have as a good shortcut whenever you're doing these geometries, geometry problems is know that when you shrink a shape down by a scale factor half, its area becomes a quarter. This circle, one of these black circles has an area that is a quarter of the other one. So we've got two lots of a quarter. What does that make? We know that half of this shape is shaded and we've got to give it maybe some value so let's just make our lives easier. Let's say that it has a radius of one, and so an area of pi. So then we've just got this area. Let's call this a half pi. All right, now we can compare it to B, and we can actually show that A, the shaded area of A, which is half the shape, has got to be bigger than B without ever calculating B. So the trick here is to actually cut B into three equal parts through the center. And then what we can do is we can reflect this triangle straight line. Let's try again. There we go. Now you can see that these two triangles are the same and there is still some missing space here and missing space here. So this black area has to be smaller than half. Half of it, and there's three of it. So we know that B is just completely out of the question. All right, so B's out of the question. Now there's another really easy one to go for. We're actually gonna compare A with D now. So we know that A is half the shape, and we know that half the shape should look like this. If I shade that in, you'd get two quarters, and it's a half. So we know that this one is lacking. We don't even know how much lacking by. We don't even need to care. We just know that it's not going to make it. Okay. So we've got rid of two of them. That's pretty good without having to do any extra calculation. Now, I'm afraid with C and E, we are going to have to do some calculation, but it's still quite simple. So C is going to be a square, which is two by two, because we said the radius of this circle is one, chose that to make things easier. So the area of it is four. And we know the area of the circle before is pi. So you do four minus pi, which is approximately 0 0.86, right, something like that. Now, we need to work out the shaded region on E. There's a few ways to do this. You can do it with Pythagoras, but there's another really, really in, uh, simple trick to use is to know that if the radius is one, these are all one. So we've got four lots of a right angle triangle with side length one, which means that you can make a little rectangle like this, one, 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 one. Made out of four copies of them, and it would have radius, sorry, area two. So then you know that this area here is 
um, is going to be pi minus 2, which is what is about 1.14, which is certainly less than half of pi. All right, so pi minus 2. Therefore, we can quickly compare half of pi, definitely bigger than this. So this one's out of the question. Half pi, definitely bigger than this. This one is also out of the question. So this shows you how you can shave off quite a lot of calculation. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, you can even try doing some really cool things by adding together C and E, and you get a new shape, and you can try and work out some things with the area there. There's a much more subtle argument that I don't think actually saves time, but it's very, very useful. If you found this helpful or interesting, please hit the like button, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, subscribe so you won't miss the next video.